Hi there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of August the 3rd through to the 9th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Sun in the upright. And next, we have Major Arcana, Temperance, upright. Followed then by the Ace of Wands in the upright. And next, we have the um, Eight of Wands, upright. And lastly, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. Wow, interesting reading. You have for your overall energy, the <laughs> the sun here, <laughs> Taurus. This looks like it could be a very, um, uh, maybe an active week for some of you. It could be a lot going on. The sun can represent having that high vitality where we're feeling really, really good. Uh, it could be, sometimes the sun will come out after a bout of, of having the blues or feeling depressed or bummed out or uh, physically, you know, not up to par. All of a sudden, our vitality, our health could come back again and we're feeling great, we're feeling wonderful, like we can, you know, take on the world. For some of you, for others of you, there's a major success and attainment that you can see this week, maybe for some of you, it's been a long time coming. You've been waiting for this success and attainment to come your way. Big victory. Uh, could be involving a Leo. The sun can sometimes represent the sign of Leo. And now at the beginning of the week, we have the Sagittarius card. Some of you could be involved with the Sag. We have temperance here in the upright position. This is a um, an energy of mixing and blending and having things just work out perfectly. Even sometimes this could be where, uh, say you don't, normally two sets of friends don't get along together, but you're having a get together and you wanna invite them both. And this could be the energy of where they actually, it clicks, it just works. This could be where perhaps you're um, starting a new job and uh, you're working with new people, but this is a team that clicks and works really well together. Um, for others of you, if this is on the social front, it's great news. If you happen to be a baker, I call it my baker's card, you could be making some wonderful, or even a cook could be making some wonderful creations at the beginning of the week that are well received. Others of you, this could just be about balance and harmony and healing. Maybe there's a level of healing going on at the beginning of the week for some of you. And it's paired up here with the Ace of Wands in the upright position. Is there a new passion coming about here? Um, Taurus, I'm wondering, because maybe that's why your vitality is coming back. Maybe there's a new, um, a new person on the scene who's caught your attention and they're extremely passionate. This could be representative of travel. A lot of times wands govern travel. Maybe there's a new opportunity for you to travel. Maybe there's um, a new spark. It comes out of the anti-cosmo. It's just something that's uh, a new idea for a career or something like that. There's something that's gotten you really, really jazzed up here. You feel like all fiery. And it looks like it starts moving pretty quickly because the next card is the Eight of Wands here in the upright position. This points to a lot of communication going back and forth. Can also point to arrows of love find their mark. So if this week, Taurus, some of you meet somebody new, could be a Taurus, could be, a, or not a Taurus, um, a Sag, could be a Leo, uh, could be any sign really, but if you do, uh, meet somebody new this week. It looks like it's going to take off very quickly because sometimes the Eight of Wands can represent the, um, that's the arrows of love find their mark. So it could be that there's a lot of communication going back and forth. But for others of you, this is about something completely different. Something, a new idea, a new spark, a new job, a new career, whatever the situation is, it takes off like wildfire. This is a lot of communication going back and forth now between yourself and other people. Perhaps this could be representative of a lot of, um, a lot of orders, say if you work for yourself, maybe this is a lot of new clients, a lot of people coming on the scene, a lot of communication here. So something exciting is going on, there's a lot of communication and you're really up to it, definitely up to this situation. And the last card you have is the Three of Swords here, reversed. This is a card that represents healing on the emotional front. It could be at some point the Three of Swords for you, Taurus, was in the upright. Now this could be representative of anything from a broken in friendship to a loss of a pet, a loss of a loved one, loss of a relationship, uh, what have you, anything that can really hurt our feelings or make us feel alone, separate, sad, depressed. Remember, we're coming out of something now. 
So whatever the situation is, it looks like there's some healing going on. Maybe for some of you, you were feeling very, you know, down and out. And now something, this new situation or this new relationship has breathed new life into you. And as a result, you're, it's helping to heal your emotional situation. Even if it's something maybe from the past that actually hurt you, perhaps it's coming around full circle now and is enabling you to help uh, to help you heal. Could be closure about something. Whatever the situation it looks like a fabulous week for you, Taurus. I'm gonna leave it there and uh, I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.